Andrino, global markets reporter at NASDAQ. We're coming to you live from inside ETFs in Hollywood, Florida. And joining me for this segment, we have Sean O'Hara. He's the president of Houston ETF distributors. We're going to take a look at thematic ETFs and how to gain niche exposure. Sean, it's great to see you as always Thank at you so inside much. ETFs. And the, one of the biggest trends you're watching the ETF space is the growth of thematic ETFs to gain niche exposures. Tell us more about that. So we, we have two products that fit that description pretty accurately. We have two publicly traded real estate based ETFs. Uh, SRVR and INDS. SRVR, server, if you kind of thought about it a little mm -hmm. bit, you could probably figure out where it would lead. But we own the publicly traded real estate companies that build the infrastructure for data centers mm -hmm. and then cell phone tower companies. And if you think about the niche that they fit, you know, we have five major disruptive technologies, 5G, Internet of Things, streaming, e-commerce, and AI. All of those things are going to consume more and more computing power. And as we move forward, more and more of the computing instances are going to take place in the cloud. The cloud is not in the cloud, right. but it's basically a data center. And so there's got to have to be a big build out to help those folks who want to provide those services and exploit those technologies. And so we're filling that niche or that need by giving investors a non-tech stock way to invest in a technology build out. On the other side, e-commerce is getting bigger and bigger. You know, the infinite impatience of the average consumer. It's, I want to order it in the morning and have it there by the time I get home at night. In order to fulfill that marketplace need, there needs to be a massive build out in the amount of distribution centers. And so that product or that ETF is INDS and it just focuses primarily 100% on the publicly traded real estate names that, that fill that marketplace need. So those are two niche strategies and, and they both did fairly well, both from a performance perspective last year, but also from an asset gathering perspective for us at Pacer ETS last year. Oh, that's great. So let's talk about that piece more specifically. What have been the biggest drivers for your growth in 2019? Well, our trend pilot series was continuing to be a big asset gather. We have the NASDAQ 100 product that, that uses trend following to get exposure mm -hmm. with the idea on managing the downside risk. As we're all sort of tiptoeing around or whistling by the graveyard waiting for this next bear market cycle, investors have found it um, appealing to have a strategy that will remain long, the NASDAQ 100, for example, or the S&P 500 or an international index, but that had an automatic mechanism would, would, that would eventually move them to T-bills so that they wouldn't necessarily ride the market all the way down the bottom when we have our next bear market or our next tail risk event. So that was one of the drivers for us. The second driver for us was the two real estate products that we mm -hmm. mentioned that took in a fair amount of assets. And the third big driver for us was a seasonal rotation ETF that we built with Sam Stovall from CFRA, who's on the news all the time, mm -hmm. and a pretty, pretty well-known guy. And it takes advantage of this seasonal rotation that really exists in the market. If you look at returns, there are particular six-month returns in the market that are better than others. So from May to October is the worst six-month period in the market, which is why people say sell a man go yeah. away, and then November to April is, happens to be the best. And so you don't sell a man go away with that seasonal rotation strategy. You become on the defensive sectors from the May to October period and then cyclicals from November to April. And so that that ETF gathered quite a few assets for us as well and performed very well. So, so you're just staying invested. As long as you're invested, yes. you're getting the exposure um, to what seasonally performs yes. well. And the ticker is that's a Z and E season, so it makes yeah. sense. People who sign the tickers are very creative, that's yes. for sure. It was great to see you as always. Thanks for catching up with us. And thanks for joining me on Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.